I started Hughes Hot Bowls with $200. Now, I'm not even trying to tell you how much I've grossed. I know my mom is proud of me because she's telling me all the time how proud she is of me now. And like, I've been around the world rapping and touring and she always been like, that's cool, like whatever. But as soon as like I started cooking, I got this article in the LA Times, like I haven't seen a bigger smile on my mom's face. can't get no food in LA for $10 and definitely not the portions that I'm giving people. I'm Hugh Augustine. I'm from Los Angeles, born and raised. I'm a rapper, world traveler. Now I'm a vegan chef, coincidentally. I got a new business called Hughes Hot Bowls where I serve vegan home cooked meals to the community at a subsidized cost of $10, you feel me? So everybody can eat, everybody eats B. So before COVID, I've been in the studio for like nine months straight recording an album. Low key, but I'm really with the extras. Maybe top speed, like somebody trying to catch us. I was planning to release it for the summertime, and uh, at the beginning of April, I was supposed to go on a national tour. And then the next week, it's like, it's all shut down. You ain't going nowhere. You feel me? It's almost like depression sets in. You're like, fuck, you know, my whole world just got crushed. I'm usually in the studio all weekend. So Monday came, I was like, I'm gonna just sleep in and, you know, enjoy this day of quarantine. Like, I'm taking off today. Then my mom hit me, she's like, what are you doing? You still in bed? Like, you know, if your grandma was here, she would be out here hustling something. And I was like, damn, you kind of right. So that day I went to the grocery store, priced out some food, and then that week I started selling. A lot of times when people think of vegan food, they think you're out here eating like sprouts and grass and walnuts. What I've uh, been doing with my menus is just developing home style comfort foods that, you know, people are familiar with. Every week I have a different menu. I make a vegan jambalaya, spicy fusilli pasta, black bean and sweet potato enchiladas, yakisoba noodles with the spring rolls on the side. This week, I brought back a, a fan favorite, you feel me? We got the Soul Bowl, huge Soul Bowl, you feel me? So we got the yams, we got the greens, we got the cornbread, we got the red beans and rice, and you know, I got the world famous vegan mac and cheese. I'm working out of my house. I live in the Baldwin Hills neighborhood of Los Angeles. If you wanna order food, you just text me at 323-400-2003 and I'm gonna hit you right back. It's me on the other line. And I got a drive-through on my block. My neighbors probably think I'm selling dope, you feel me? But it's all love. The greens is getting hot, so I don't see why not. I'm looking for a thigh to give it a little tie. Yeah, it's off the top. See my hair braided. I'm cooking and I'm faded. You know I'm staying shaded. The big ass pot of greens. This one's for you, Granny. When you make greens, you feel me? This broth that you're cooking them in, yeah, it's called pot liquor. So, when we were slaves, this juice is was like one of our natural medicines. The greens we could we the greens wasn't for us, you feel me? But we we had the juice, you feel me? So we used to take the juice, and th this was like the basis of our medicine. So when you're cooking greens, when you're cooking soul food, it's really ancestral, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. you're really tapping into your roots as black people. A big reason why I do huge hot bowls and the reason why the price is set at $10 is because, you know, in this community, especially like around here, there's not a lot of food options. We really have to change the relationship that we have as a community with the food. We have so many low quality options in our community and you wonder why uh you know we're walking around with hypertension high blood pressure diabetes we got dialysis centers all over the community but we don't have no healthy food you know what i'm saying we don't have no parks we don't have access to green space a couple of years ago the doctor told me i had high cholesterol and i was like i'm 26 so I became vegan a year and a half ago, actually, after Nit passed away. Um, and that was like kind of like the springboard to my journey into veganism. My grandmother passed away. She had diabetes 
and uh, she had high cholesterol. Then, you know, she became incapacitated from having strokes and going through different stuff like that. So for the last few years of her life, she was on a feeding tube. Seeing my grandmother go through that struggle has been a big part of why I've chosen this different life path. When I started Hughes Hot Bowls, uh, one of my clients who's become like a weekly customer, she told me, you know, serving food is a revolutionary act. We can combat the system in so many different ways, you know, educating ourselves, trying to get involved with legislature, protesting, the movement that's going on outside right now, Black Liberation Movement, Black Lives Matter, you know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, you know, it all has to start with our fuel because if you're not fueled, then you can't fight. You gotta fight for this shit every day. And this is this is my way of doing that, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, my way of protesting is giving my people healthy food. Yeah, I'm just out here trying to change my community one meal at a time. All right, bro. I'm gonna hit you. I'm gonna hit you in a minute. Uh, 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 uh. Bro, sometimes I be so bored in here. <laughs> Just stirring my life away. Well, I got into the food business when I was actually in high school. My mom owned a catering business for like 25 years. So that was my first job, my first experience working in the kitchen. And she taught me how to cook really young. It's always been a hidden talent of mine. Like during the summertime, you know, we have cookouts and barbecues and I'll usually be the one on the grill. There's like no limit to his expression. Whether it's through your heart, through your ears, or through your tummy, he's, you know, giving you that good stuff. That's so right. I have known Hugh for a very, very long time, over a decade, and part of our friendship is cooking. I also do Jamaican food, and he inspired me to do it, you know, coming here and seeing him feed our community, our friends, our people, to make something happen during the pandemic and just all these crazy times. This is really inspiring. That's how you know it's done. You put in an initial and it holds. That's how you know it's ready. This is Sister my sous chef, Haley. In the building. She's my little cousin. The success of Hughes Hot Bowls has really been crazy. When it comes to like promoting my business and everything like that, it's been really grassroots, you know, just using social media to my advantage. When all this stuff started, I didn't really want to go to regular restaurants, so. I was looking for like black people who were um, doing takeout, like something like this out of their house. Um, and somebody tagged me um, with his menus. So I just decided to come today. Bailey, I need those onions for the greens. I mean, right now I feel like there's kind of no point in like trying to predict the future because there's so much uncertainty in the world. I'm really just thankful that I'm waking up every day and like I'm not sick and I'm not in a fucking ice prison or I'm not like locked up like a lot of my homies that I grew up with. In a time where there's so much uncertainty and, and all of our plans are in shambles, it's really important to just be able to be adaptable. I come from a place of lack of resources, so being adaptable is second nature for me. That right now I'm just thankful for the blessings that are coming and take this shit day by day and just grind it out. I knew I was famous in sixth grade, right? Because I was in history class. The only person who passed the test is Hugh. And everybody hated me after that. This is what it feels like to be famous.